Stay tuned if you want to see if I can get this mower running and what this module's for. Let's crack on. An engine needs four things to run. Fuel, air, spark, and compression. Why on earth would that, a signal to that, and this continuous ground come on at once? I come out the other day and crank the mower over and it doesn't start. It won't fire. So now I'm gonna to start to take you through the process of what I would do to find out what's wrong with the mower. This is a button switch. So all it does is when you're sitting on the mower, it puts pressure and closes this switch. Closed circuit, the noise goes off. Now I'm gonna press it closed. So that's working. I'm gonna go and get an, I'm gonna go and get another zip tie for it. Then I'm thinking to myself, hmm, what else does this thing need? Got fuel. That one's good. So now we're gonna go a little bit deeper. So this is the fuel pump. This is a pulse pump. That means this fuel line, the fuel pump's working and there's fuel getting to the carby. Does it have spark? But spark, 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 do, 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 either side is it timed with the cylinders, right? We're gonna check that spark plug. Okay, it's fine, look, it's got fuel on it. But this will give you a nasty zap, so just have it like that. There's no spark there. First thing we gotta do, we're gonna try and take the shroud off. I'm literally just gonna unscrew the fuel pump and let it hang. One here, there we go. And here's our two coils, one here and one here. Ooh, compression's good, you can hear it. Sounds off, so there's no way that that coil can touch ground, even if one of those cables is dodgy. Hey! No deck engagement. So that's very interesting. In the same moment I come out and to start the mower, it's got a continuous ground fault on the coils and the, de and the deck doesn't engage. Let's do some fault finding on that now and understand why. Beautiful. That, that clutch is working. Oh, where do a lot of the wires go? Apart from the fact of all the red back nests. What is that sneaky module doing up in there? And now you're asking yourself, bangers, what do we do next? Well, that mysterious box up in here is actually the ECU. And back to the start of the video, I had this bag in my hand. I was a bit cheeky, because I thought, oh, this will make a good video and I'll show a lot of people what's going on. I actually went to John Deere uh, yesterday and they had these in stock. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Wow, all these connectors are super old. There's that ECU and we need that one M10 bolt that's up in there. Oh, I see moldy. Old passion fingers there. All right, I'm gonna put that back in. There we go. And I sort of hammed it up a bit before about, oh, what's this, you know? And give people a bit of uh, something to look forward to. Let's just see what happens. ECU, baby! 